Hey, Jay here. We're on the next part of our YZ250 build. This is a build, our steel frame YZ250 that we thought was a 99, but our guy messed up and it's actually an 01. We've had that problem happen a few times. Even Rado's done that with us. Give us the wrong year and then things are different. It's, it happens, right, Rado? It does, yeah. Unfortunately, it happens to me too often and it's not my fault. It's always guys tell me something. So always check the frame numbers. Good, good uh, lesson. Okay, so we got our YZ250 engine here all apart. And Brad, Pair Pro's longtime friend, friend is going to rebuild this engine for us right now. We've got the engine all vapor blasted, and that's why it looks so nice. Uh, so it's all vapor blasted. When you vapor blast an engine, you need to split it all apart. There's, you're gonna get stuff in there. You can see we got worn clutch plates, crank. Crank is very old and worn, so it needs a new crank. Uh, piston and main bearings, same time. So it was time for a rebuild, perfect time. We, and luckily the cylinder's still in good shape. So Brad's gonna assemble this entire engine. He's gonna clean the power valve at the same time and put this whole thing together with new clutch plates and so forth. We'll report back to you. Okay, so the fun part of this story is uh, when I showed up here, he already had the tranny in. He didn't wanna show it because it was gonna take, it takes a while and he was just trying to save some work and make this a shorter day and all that. No such luck, huh, Rado? No such luck. No, 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 we're gonna do it right. So. Here we go, Brad. Show us what to do. So this one has like nowhere. Their pads are really good. This one has a little bit, you can see, teeny bit of wear. But that's, I mean, it's so minor. And you, you actually, if you feel a step, that's when you're more yeah, concerned. Yeah, and then if they're, these don't have it, but if right here will be a groove, if you get a groove in there, right, the shift fork's done, because it's bent and it's pushing on the gear. So if you get, you can kind of see that little mark right there. Um, when they're bad, you'll see it. It's a gnarly, gnarly little uh, groove going. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Party who wants to surrender, darling, you were meant to survive With every start, we are born again Open your heart, spend less time in your head Okay, they got the transmission in, they're a little bit of a pain the way it goes in um, You just gotta line it up and I keep the shift forks to the side, put the drum in the middle, and then slide it together and drop it in. Uh, sometimes you gotta do a little wiggling and get it in, but once in, it's fine. Sh show us how we, you know it's working right, right now. I know you're good. Like shifting it? Yeah. Yeah, working good. All work. It's, it's not know. in right, those times you're having a problem. What, what do you see, is it locking up? Yeah, if you can't shift it, if it's just stuck and like one of the gears is on wrong, it won't move, it won't go into its spot, so you wouldn't be able to shift at all. So Perfect. It, so now we're going to put the main bearings in. So I heat the cases up, and the bearings are in the refrigerator getting cold, and then they'll pop right in. This will take a minute though, you know. like that. Turn it off. Woo! Easy peasy. All right, now we're gonna silicone the cases. We use Yamma Bomb 4. Um, I put a good amount all the way around don't get crazy and put a ton of it because then it's just gonna dry and end up all and everywhere else in the gasket kits that there's an o-ring that goes right here for the the coolant canal um, I always make sure there's a little bit of silicone in there before that way it holds the sucker in there um, just like so and then next what we're going to do is I'm actually going to preheat a slug on the main bearing. 
um, get the slug really hot so the inner brace of the main bearing is hot and we'll drop the crank in. So the reason why I heat up the slug on there is I don't want to put direct heat right on that main bearing. So we do heat transfer with the slug. Uh, works really, really good. And then Rado's going to hand me the crank out of the refrigerator. Yep. Just like that. See how it just fell in? There's no tapping, no beating, no nothing. It's in. That's good. So the reason why I like doing the seals after the fact is sometimes when you put the seals in the crank catches it and can jack the seal up or push it back out and it could mess it up. I'd rather just put them on after the fact. Um, but either way is good. Here we're going to change the uh, clutch arm seal. So you want to pull the little safety pin out. Miles of land without it, but wanting to build up walls. Lift me up in your branches. We can watch the sunrise. Just a couple. And then put this back in. Now be careful when tightening this down. This threads are really thin on this thing. Just barely snug that sucker in. We're gonna start on the right side of the motor. First, what I'm gonna do is install the right main seal. And if you know, all right. So now we're gonna put the drift indicator drum in. It has a little slot, and inside of here is a little pin. So you want to make sure that that gets on correctly. And then I always put a little bit of Loctite on the bolt. Not a lot. And I use blue so it's not that tight. comes in the whole motor kit which these bolts are amazing they work really well I use them on all my projects Jay uses them all um, we didn't have these when we this morning putting this together so they just got here 
So I did them one by one, took one out, put one in. Um, now we're going to start assembling the right engine side and we're good to go. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every star We are born again Henson clutch fibers. Um, let them soak for a while, get all nice and lubed up. Now it can make a mess as you go to install it. Time's just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless They don't wanna see me naked 
They don't wanna see me care Anytime I make some progress I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gon' make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Okay, so that's a wrap on this YZ250 engine build. Brad did an amazing job as always. A um, lot of good parts in this thing, right? Yes, sir. And we have little segments on doing the, the Henson clutch, um, putting the power valve together, yep. separate video where you give some tips on that. So we have some really good pieces here. Again, the engine was vapor blasted by Sano Metal Finishing, spec bolts all around the whole engine. Got our hot rods crankshaft, vertex piston, V-Force recage, Henson clutch. Yep. And it all comes out amazing. We're gonna have a new super sprock sprocket on here. We got our 
Hot Rods makes a whole rebuild here. All that stuff's been done. I'm gonna get a new cover for this. I'm working on that with Lightspeed so that it looks just, just right. So really fun build. Brad did a great job. Rado did an amazing job behind the camera and editing this video as well, right Rado? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> All right, so ho hopefully you enjoyed this YZ250 engine build. Watch this and then shortly you can be able to see the other finished complete build on this bike here real soon.